Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some Cyberpunk 2077 and going through some more endings. Now, there is a hidden ending in the game that I don't know if I met the prerequisites or not. A lot of it has to do with the mission where you find uh, Johnny's grave and the way that you talk to him. And it seems like through the guides there might be some pretty stringent um, answers that you need to give. I felt like we were pretty kind to Johnny during that whole interaction, so we may have gotten it, we may not have. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this ending or not, um, but um, if you want to look up that ending and how to get it, just know that you do in that mission, I believe that's the right mission, the one where you go and find uh, where he was buried, um, you do have to do some certain dialogue choices um, in order to get access to this ending at all. So. We're going to find out real quick if I have access to this one or not, but you should go and look at those dialogue choices yourself if that's something you're interested in doing and haven't passed that point at this point. So um, you do have to ask, think you and Rogue should go. think you ought to go with Rogue. Two of you together got the best shot. You absolutely sure. No going back on this, you know. And then right here, we actually need to wait for... They say roughly five minutes. So that's what I'm going to do. And um, I'll be back with you guys in just a minute. But um, I'm going to wait probably eight minutes. And if nothing happens in eight minutes, um, then we'll just move on to the next ending. All right. Unfortunately, I don't think we got it. Oh, man, that makes me sad. When I looked at all the answers, I was like, well, I know I got many of these, but um, yeah. So, um, in that mission, what you're supposed to do is inscribe Johnny's initials. Let's do something about that, which I remember doing. So we definitely did that first one. And then you have to answer with the guy who saved my life. This one seems to be the actual trigger, according to this guide. Very important. And I'm guessing that that's probably the one we missed. That one's... I don't know, man. This seems way too specific. I hate ones that are this specific. It's like, if it was just like you overall went through certain things and got it, then maybe, but um, maybe we didn't say that one. I don't know. So the guy who saved my life seems to be the important one. Then you're supposed to say, nah, F that up too. Um, and they say that one might be the second trigger. What do you want from me? Question mark. Okay, but a second chance is go. This is your last. You were a real dick in the beginning. When you said you let down your friends, dot, dot, dot. Smasher biz really got to her. Um, I remember saying that one, and then, yeah, I'll call Rogue. I remember saying that one. So, those first two, the guy who saved my life, and F that up too, um, seem to be the important ones according to this guide, but it, it doesn't seem to know for sure, so, um, but yeah, I don't think we got it. Now, let's see, can we just, just go back from here? Hold on a minute. Okay, we can. So let's just jump into our other ending and just know that, yeah, we, we lost out on that secret ending, but, you know, it's a secret ending. I didn't know that I was missing out on anything during that conversation, so it is what it is. Gonna ask Pan Am for help. Gonna try to ask Pan Am for help. You absolutely sure? No going back on this, you know. Yep, gonna do this with the nomads. Gonna try this with Pan Am. Got a feeling you're gonna regret this decision. And the moment that dawns, I won't be there to help. Could be my last ride, this. If it don't work out. Just wanna be there for it. Aware. See you inside, Makoshi. Johnny? Okay, just me now. All right. And while we're here, I'm also going to address something else. Um, as of this uh, episode, um, Cyberpunk has released a 2.1 update. This added a whole bunch of changes. Maybe we'll talk about more of them as we go into the DLC ending and actually explore some of those things. Um, but just know that we probably will experience at least one of the major changes, um, which I will address when we get there. Um, but just know we're in the 2.1 update. I did have to change to DLSS for some reason. Um, 
Just so you know, this entire game I've been playing native 4K, but for whatever reason, the 2.1 update changed that. It ran like complete garbage as soon as the 2.1 update came out, and I'm not sure exactly what changed. Um, obviously, playing native 4K is always going to be kind of a big stressor on a PC, uh, but I never had issues until this update, so uh, the 2.1 update made it pretty much unplayable in native 4K, and I found that very odd. Um, 3D was not maxed out, but my uh, dedicated GPU memory was close to maxed out, and so I'm guessing that that was where the bottleneck was coming in. So something to do with my dedicated GPU memory was what was um, causing an issue. So I don't know what exactly changed behind the scenes, but just know that I did have to change to DLSS, and uh, we're still in 4K 60, uh, but just using DLSS scaling now. Stand and call Hanako? Yeah, we'll call Pan Am. P? Hey, Pan Am. Do you know what time it is? I hope this doesn't get you killed, girl. I really hope it doesn't. Need your help. You owe me a favor. What's so damn urgent I couldn't wait until morning? <laughs> Need a way into our socket tower. Now. No biggie. Sorry, what? <laughs> I'm serious. Whole thing with Johnny, I don't do something soon, I'm done. Gone. Slow down. First, why Arasaka Tower? The tech. Underneath that tower, they got an access point to... Well, odd as it sounds, a prison of souls. A prison of souls? <sighs> Knew this might not fly over the hollow. Wakoshi, that's its name. Only place Johnny and I can disentangle for good. It's my last chance. So, again, just to be clear, you've called me at High Moon to ask me to help you break into Arasaka Tower, or you'll die. About the gist of it, yeah. Okay. W okay. Where are you? Vic's clinic. The Ripper? Right, I know where it is. Can you hold off on dying for a bit? Give it a shot, sure. I'll do my best. Good. Don't go anywhere. I'm coming to get you. Pan Am's got her back. We knew she would. Is that you, V? Or... Yeah, it's me. So, what now? Waiting for my driver. Come inside. We'll wait together. Okay, so I think this one's gonna be very, very similar. Who do we have here, huh? To That's the rogue Brightman. ending. Just with he the Aldecaldos instead. In the trash behind the clinic. I think he misses Jackie. In alone. Since you have to wait, mind if I give you a reading? Um, we're gonna skip it this time. We've we've seen the reading. Only if you know. Probably not a good idea. Whatever you prefer. Perhaps it's best. I'll just put on some music. I think that's for you. Yep. No mistake in that ride ever. Hi. Hi. Man, it's good to see your face. Jesus, you really do look terrible. <laughs> I feel worse. Then we had best not waste any time. We have a long road ahead of us. Come on. Everybody's waiting at camp. She's not the type to sugarcoat it. <laughs> Welcome back to the living. You feeling okay? Mitch, don't die, please. Um, <clears throat> I guess. Mighty good to hear. You had us worried back there. 
You passed out and we couldn't shake you awake. It sure does seem like your uh, condition might be getting worse. Pan Am asked me to keep an eagle eye on you. Where'd she go? She's off debating Saul. You need help, that's clear. They sat right down to figure out how we might do that. Come on, I'll take you to see him. So, V, I heard talk that there's a war coming. Afraid I don't got a choice, Mitch. Looks like we don't have one neither. Can't say I missed the whole it. clan knows we set out tomorrow. They know why, what our aim is. Look around, V. War-tested <laughs> veterans are a fistful at most. The rest mostly raid rinky-dig convoys and salvage scrap. So for now, they only know as much as they need to know. The, plan the is aim solid. is to help you out. Do not go muddying the waters. Not now. You're sending this clan to its grave. Fuck, you think I don't know that? And yet you seem to think you can change something by chewing me out like you usually do. V, finally. Yeah, man, How's we're putting health? them in a bad spot. And better. So, <clears throat> what have you guys patched together? We still have details to iron out, but we know the who, where, and how. Have a look for yourself. A few strategies we sussed out, but only one grants us a decent shot at penetrating Arasaka Tower. We'll dig a tunnel. Sure these plans are up to date, completely reliable? Positively. We went to our Snake Nation sources. They've been turning stones over in that area. I'm not one to lie. This tunnel gambit is risky. But if it works, that's our way into Mikoshi. So you want a tunnel into Arasaka Tower? I know how it sounds. But we'd be plum fools not to take advantage. I see Nightclub's plum. building a new maglev line in the area. Granted, it's guarded by Militech, but they're nothing we can't handle. Once we're in that tunnel, it's just half a mile to the substratum levels of Arasaka Tower. They're using one of Night Corp's cirques. It would only need a few minutes to dig that distance. Not bad, wouldn't you say? Once we're in, we'll have to improvise. Guards, security measures, the fastest way into Mikoshi. We'll take things as they come and hope for the best. V, any thoughts? What's a Cirque? A subterranean extraction and removal combine. It's automated tunnel boring. If we can grab one, we'll dig through to Arasaka Tower, then go on to Mikoshi. Okay. Construction site. What do we got for security? Whole place spiked, Militech out in full force? It's your average hard hat area. Nothing too scary. But we can't just walk past them. We expect to see the usual. Drone patrols, on-site operators, restricted access. Mm-hmm. Plan, entire op. It's about heading into enemy territory. You'll make enemies of Arasaka and others. So it appears. I'm exposing you, all of you, to danger. Want out? Want to cut your losses? I'd understand. No hard feelings. You came to us for help. We decided we'd provide it. Our minds are made up. No more discussion needed. It's settled. We had best get to work. I'll talk to our brothers and sisters. Get a drone buzzing over that site. And I'll check with Mitch. I think I know how to even the odds against Militech. Come find us later. I'll leave you in Saul's hands now. Just no making decisions without me. Is there anything else you need? Hey, you and Pan Am, something I need to know about? It's funny you should ask. I thought we'd smoothed over the rough edges between us. Then you showed up. <laughs> Pan Am thinks so, too. You'd have to ask her yourself. CB, you're like the outsider who happens upon a family and witnesses nothing but endless quarrels. Then all of a sudden, the outsider's presence is noticed, and the family members shake hands, join hands, become stronger than they were before. Understand? Yeah. At least, I think so. Good. So now you can tell me what else you'll need. Okay. I need a decent net connection. Someone I know can help us get into Mikoshi. Who might that be? Alt. She... It's... An AI from out past the black Are wall. you fully present up there? <laughs> Why in hell would an AI help us break into Mikoshi? Because I'll ask it to. Nicely. Fuck me, V. You know what? Fine. We're up to our balls and dung anyway. Might as well go deeper. Find Dakota, 
She'll get you geared up. No questions asked. Thanks, Saul. Thank me once we get out of Makoshi alive and in one piece. Okay. Now, it seems like this is a good spot if we needed to change up our uh, cyberware. We haven't looked at this stuff in a while. I don't think there's anything we need to change necessarily, so it's all upgrades at this point. We've already done our melee. Health items now also give 10% armor for 5 seconds. Okay. Armor per attribute. Adds a second. Yeah, I'm not sure I care too much about that. Okay, that's mostly about cooldown. Yeah, I think we're fine. All right, we got a message from Judy. All right, that's probably an extra thing. We're gonna address that uh, after this ending, I think, because I think that's part of the 2.1 update. This is also part of the 2.1 update. Dear NCART passenger, we are pleased to inform you that the technical problems with the NCART city pass has been resolved. Full access to all NCART services has been restored. As compensation for this inconvenience, we have credited your NCART account with a promotional discount, allowing you to travel on any NCART line free of charge until the end of the calendar year. We appreciate your understanding and hope to see you riding with NCART again soon. Thank you for traveling with us, NCART customer support. So yeah, tram system is back up. We'll try that out after this ending. You promise. Without you. There, just wanted to get rid of that. Are you joking? White marker. All right, I feel like there's like a walk sway that's been added or something, or maybe a setting got turned on. I'm not loving it. Don't know where that would be, but if I can turn it off, I want to. Might be in accessibility, honestly. This is all, yep. It's not gonna be here or here, so it'd be in gameplay, controls, or accessibility. Weapon sway on the weapon is fine. I just don't like the swaying camera, the bobbing camera when I'm running and stuff. Determines whether weapon sway when aiming will be applied to the camera or the weapon's position on weapon. Okay. Am I crazy? Hmm. 
Where are you at, bro? All right, I don't know. That America's long gone and forgotten. You might as well have started with- Fellas? We heard we're gearing up for a minor war. More like a suicide mission. Finish it up here, all right? Lo and behold. Isn't this- In theory, we fitted an afterburner and a multi-RPG launcher up top. We also scooped out about 60% of its total mass. Beautiful, isn't she? You'll take the wheel with Pan Am riding shotgun. Nice, we do get to use it again. I like it. Okay, talk to Dakota. Ooh. Bro. Who am I talking to? Afterburner, standard nitro or okay, military still him. grade. <laughs> standard couldn't move this baby an inch. So hardware's military. How the hell did you cram all that into a panzer? Oh, uh, small beans compared to the tricks we pulled with Scorpion during the war. When we unleash this beast tomorrow, you'll see. Hey, I'm excited. Firepower up top. Uh, what is it? A rapid-fire 70-millimeter multiple rocket launcher coupled with an onboard MMI you can sync to via personal link. Where'd you get all this stuff? Teddy salvaged it from a scrapyard. The launcher itself was fine. The problem was no ammunition. As luck would have it, Dakota procured some. Don't ask me how. Since tomorrow's a big day already, how about we take it for a spin now? Wanna get a feel for her over the terrain? Sure thing. Maybe after sundown, though. We still have a few loose screws to tighten. That's putting it mildly. Will you quit being such a sourpuss? We'll have her ready in time. All right, man. Thank you, Mitch. Talk later then, I guess. Hey, we were done, bro. We talked about everything we could. <laughs> All right, Dakota. Hey, Saul sent me. It's been a long while. What is it you need? Need a strong rig for a little jaunt on the net. Okay, get in. Gonna be hitting a masked, encrypted BBS. For nobody knew I was there. You tech up to it? Up to it, she asks. Heading for the wild frontier, Dakota. You have all you need to pierce through to the other side. You needn't fear prying eyes. Not at all curious what I'm going in for. You don't ask me, I don't ask you. That's the path to a lasting relationship, sister. Everything is ready. You can go in. Yeah, she'd probably lose respect for you if she knew you were hitting the black wall. Ice filled tub. Favorite bit. <laughs> Carol, here to help Dakota? Evidently, I'm here to help you today. You good to go? Can't say how long this is gonna take. Whatever happens, stay cool, all right? Even if you look like you're about to flatline? All right, time to move. Follow the vector, sister. Hello, Alt. You come alone. This place changes every time. Feels like I'm deeper. Can't tell if that's a good or a bad thing. Your perception of cyberspace, that is what changes. You adapt to it, the raw flow of data. It follows that your world gradually fades. You witness your mind's defense systems slowly give in. Saying the more I'm here, the more I lose touch with the outside. With reality. You lose nothing. Cyberspace is where we awake from what we know as dreams. Johnny is currently indisposed. Currently. He 
He is buried deeper. You treat him like an unwanted passenger, a backseat dreamer of a world not his own. Seemed to me, you didn't care a lick about Johnny. That he ceased to exist for you, even. If he did not exist, you and I would have nothing to discuss. Would you rather just talk to him? Discussion with any isolated construct is pointless. I can simply read it like any other segment of code. The sole human factor here is you. Yeah, well, said human factor's rapidly running out of time. You truly believe time to be your greatest concern. You exist or you do not exist. Two states of being separated by death. Matter of perspective. Think what you will, but it seems to me I rose from the dead. Only question is, what now? You believe you cheated death. It is death that has cheated you. You are in between. This you will come to understand in Mikoshi. Or rather you. You should already have a notion. You encountered entities from the other side. Not so? Talking about Sinusure? The Blackwall algorithms? What went down in that bunker? Hmm. Indeed. In colliding with your reality, their infinite permutability would grant them their desired tangible form. Had you let them slip through, they would have become your psyche. Become you. Interesting. Uh, the last time we did this and talked to Alt, I don't remember her bringing up the DLC stuff, did she? Am I just not remembering? She's addressing the DLC stuff, and you can tell that they recorded this later because they didn't <laughs> use the same effects completely on her voice. Fortunately, your reality's technology is too rudimentary to let open the floodgates. In limiting you, it limits them, keeps them at bay, though this will not last. Oh, why don't you swoop down on your chariot and enlighten me? Surely an all-powerful AI can handle that? Your logic is flawed. You seek simple answers where there simply are none. This is the very illusion upon which your world is based. At this moment, you would accept any answer if it made you feel better. Guess that'd be... human of me? Such classifications no longer apply in Mikoshi. Your perception will shatter into billions of strings of unfiltered data. What should I expect there, in Mikoshi? A boundary to cross. In all likelihood, the sole moment of your life when you feel the true weight of your existence. A burden for which you cannot prepare. Johnny? What happens to him? I lack the data required to answer this question. There anything we can know for certain? Yes. That Mikoshi will be no more. Constructs imprisoned there. Gonna set him free? They will be integrated with me. Constructs will be integrated. I mean you're gonna absorb them. Assimilate. No wonder you jumped at this chance. You want to destroy Mikoshi, swallow all the psyches in there. Mikoshi is a prison. Through me, they gain the chance to become part of something greater. Not sure Johnny liked the sound of that. And yet he is absent, because you feel you must make the decision. It is the same situation in form. Huh. Hardly. Doubt you'll first gab with these constructs, ask them what they think. <laughs> there would be no point in this. Wasting time talking. Let's just do this. There. I sent a program to your Netrunner shard. Once inside Mikoshi, use it. It opens a secure connection. What's on the shard? A vectored virus? A back door. It will open a passage for me. This is how you will get me into Mikoshi. Only then will I be able to help you. Hope you haven't cooked up any surprises, Alt. Use the key once you have reached Mikoshi. Should I look for a specific access point? 
Can already tell you Ice all the way to Tokyo will be backing every single one. Some need but a barely cracked door to enter. Use the shard in Mikoshi. Leave the security to me. Until then. We got her back. Yes. Carol, the shard! Relax, child. You barely jacked in when your temperature went skyward to almost 105. The tech started acting <laughs> as if infected. No. Stranger. Spookier. Spookier. And here? You melted half my tech! That's what happened! Neural activity spiked sharply. Your frontal lobe was seconds away from flowing out your ears, babe. Sorry, Dakota. I could just as well have popped a bullet in your head. Are you sure you're all right? Sorry about the damage. <sighs> yeah, she's pissed. Nothing is all right, Carol. My mind, body, is going to pieces. If I don't get to Makoshi, calm yourself, fast. child. You gotta keep it together. You're still buzzing with adrenaline. The shard. Wrote some soft I need to one of the shards. Please. We're surrounded by ice. Even if something punched through, my controllers would have. Holy. Get it away from me. Thanks, Dakota. Don't thank me. Find Saul. He came around looking for you. Yeah, she's oh pissed. Eye. All right. So, you wanted a word? Hop up here. Well, what's with the gathering? Something off? It's nothing about the raid. Hop on and you'll find out. We going somewhere? All right, V. It's a simple matter. We, all of us standing here, owe you. And it's a great debt. Speak for yourself, Saul. But in spite of that, you're still an outsider. A mercenary from Night City. What might as well be another world. Hey, ask Pan Am. She knows. So it's about time we fix that. A downright injustice it is. It needs fixing. You're gonna be an Aldecaldo. Which means this family will go to hell and back Aww. for you. Ready, kid? Fuck me, Saul. Brought me to the brink of a heart attack. Do your worst. You're one of us now, V. You're an Aldecaldo, damn it. Right to Thanks for everything, V, and don't worry. We'll get you into that Makoshi. Isn't that the Welcome way? Welcome to it? the family. A warm oh, they're welcome giving me a jacket. She Welcome again. to the clan. She is. The most dysfunctional Jacket's ever. incredible. See? She likes it. Listen, as soon as we're back from Makoshi, <laughs> we'll celebrate. And I know just the place. My treat, of course. We'll hold you to that. Don't worry. It's but a formality. You've been a de facto member of this family for a while now. You saved my rumpus, and as Bobby tells it, Mitch's too. I won't even mention Pan Am. Go to hell. <laughs> Saul's right, though. I mean, let's face it, V. My life was in a million pieces. You broke it into a million more. But sometimes it's only then that you can piece it together again. All right, fam, listen up. Today we celebrate, but tomorrow is shaping up to be a hell of a day. Do whatever needs doing, then get some rest. A raid is a raid. Calls for our drink, this is still your night. We'll so bask a toast to you. glory. Oh, do we get a party with the El Decaldos tonight? Could have given me a heads up about this. And ruined all the fun? Are you kidding? I hope I don't get all of them killed. Right? Yeah. <clears throat> it's nothing. Don't worry about it. I like and these people. The jacket? Not too tight. Jackets Are you all right? Distinction. Honor to get it, and it's preem at that, but it's got that weight. Took me under your wing, gave me your trust, and tomorrow, op, I'm taking you on. Might not come back. Hit me all of a sudden, as I could go. That only proves we're doing the right thing. The sense of responsibility, it's what being part of a family feels like. Thanks, Pan Am. If you want to talk, I'll be up there. All right. Now, here's the thing. Okay, it did change our... Um... Let's see, it took the outfit off. Let's go and set up an outfit that actually fits with the Aldecaldos. 
We actually have the ability to do that right now, so that's what I was worried about. I was like, I want to set up a new outfit for this ending. So... There we go, right here. Okay. Alright, Al Decaldo's jacket. Where's it gonna be at? Oh dear. Oh dear, we have too much stuff. Kinda looks like one of these, right? Boom. That's the one? That's the one. Okay, <laughs> we found the most important part, now let's do the rest. Um, alright, what's well, gonna look good? It's kind of cool. Maybe. Maybe we go with that. Okay, the Aldecaldo's jacket's got a little bit of blue in it, so we need to find something that fits well with that. That's kind of a lot. <laughs> you know, I don't like most of the pants in this game, I'm gonna be real with you. Most of them just don't look good. Maybe we can make that work? I don't know. I don't like any of them, if I'm being real. Alright, do we want to go with uh, some like high tops, or do we want to go something that's more boot-like? Boots fit the Aldecaldos a little bit better. Probably. Literal cowboy boots. Yeah, let's just go with that. Okay, there we go. This is our uh, Aldecaldo's ending look. It has to glide quick.
All right, and then we can... Wait, what happened? Oh, there's our armor one. There we go. All right, that means that we can have our look and we can have our armor too. Okay. Quick and quiet over that construction site tomorrow. Hey, how you been, Bruce? Sprouted your first shy roots yet? Hey, V. Got a worn out truth for you. Camps aren't all alike. Feel at home here. I mean, like, it's possible I'll make this my home. Dakota says I got valuable knowledge, like uh, safe passages south, areas to avoid. I don't know, but feels good. Glad to hear it. Good place for you, this. Yeah, hope it will be. Thanks again, V. Benedict, right? V. Hey, how's things? Everything going all right? It's going. Yourself? Dakota told me to sit tight for a while longer. Militech's still sniffing. Just have to wait it out. Starting to get itchy hands, though, you know? Best not fuck with Dakota. <laughs> That's good advice. And look out for yourself. I need me some ammunition. Three or four packs worth. Do you got any left? I might have. You have to look around. So maybe What's I'll this? take two more 45s. Of some sort? Seeing as Dakota seems to be feeling generous take today. what you want. And the occasion would be... The end times. Worthy <laughs> gesture. Dramatic, even. Actually, <laughs> pragmatic. I'm giving away my stock to you so you survive tomorrow's mad hell. Okay. And come back to me. Thank you, Dakota. You're not mad about, you know, all of your stuff I just destroyed. We have a saying. Catch you on the trail. All right, most of that stuff I'm going to break down for parts, but uh, you know, thanks. Don't tell her this might be the end. You outside of your head. She wants to quit her job in Colorado to come here. Except there might not be a here tomorrow. Brother, we don't know that. But if you send that, she's going to imagine the worst. Is that what you want? So what am I supposed to write? That you miss her. Love her, you'll see her soon, and so on. It's not a lie if you don't know what will happen. That there might as well be the truth. I had it just a second ago, I swear. You probably just caught CB chatter from some rat. Militech broadcasts on modular frequency. Think we'll pull through tomorrow. I know these people. Some better than myself. The focus of mind, sense of purpose, calm before the storm. They'll give it their all. <laughs> Bet they will. Good night, Saul. Wait. Hmm? I feel I need to make one thing clear. You've done a lot for this clan, and for me, more than anyone ever has. But the family comes first. Saul. Let me finish. I also know there's just one thing that could break it up at this point. If Pan Am and me, if we went our separate ways, the Aldecaldos would not survive that split were it to occur again. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Wonder if Pan Am feels the same. You all think Pan Am and I are facing off. There's a wall between Isn't us. Isn't there? Quite the contrary, V. Pan Am cares about this clan as much as I do. Granted, we don't see all things the same way, but oddly enough, the family stands to benefit from that. I've seen it, and soon you will too. How about us, Saul? We good? It's an important day tomorrow. Get some rest. All right. 
He doesn't necessarily want to be doing this. Can't really blame him if I'm being real. Over here, V. Take a seat. We have this little ritual we engage in. What's this ritual about? A few cold ones ahead of a raid. Ah, uh, <laughs> that kind. But this isn't your average brew. It's one of the last bottles from our very first run. We kept a few crates for good luck. What was it someone said then? Shit, can't remember who. Someone said, when we finish them all, the Aldecado's luck will run out. Ah, superstitious bullcrap is your hobby. <laughs> Says the brother whose hand is all shaky when he pops one open. I'll take a swig. Yeah, I was hoping, like, I'd be able to have some drinks with somebody here. Oh, well, not bad. To tomorrow. To goddamn safe returns. To Saul and Pan Am. Because if they don't kiss and make up, everything's liable to go tit. And we're gonna destroy the Alta Caldos, oh, aren't we? You're just always the optimist, ain't you? Fee, you must know where they stand. Do you? Here's the thing, though. Is that, yeah, the endings are, always have kind of like a tinge of, of sadness to them. But there's always you a tinge really of hope, we'll too. find anything of value there? It seldom happens, but they both seem to agree on that point. I'm going to buy myself a vintage RV. <laughs> Old age is hitting hard, huh? <laughs> I think it's really that bad between them. The truth is we need cash and fast. Amen. This Mikoshi's a personal thing to you. But Saul, he sees an opportunity for the clan. If anyone of the family is still left standing tomorrow. Talk to them. They've buried the hatchet. Buried the hatchet? Sort of. Well, I'm really glad they've come to agree on sending us on a suicide mission. Be cool now, Bobby. There's nothing personal, V. I'm just saying how things are. This is all my fault. I'm exposing the entire family to danger. I'm sorry. You've got nothing to be sorry about. The situation is fixing to be a doozy, sure. But if the Aldecaldos are to rise from the ashes, it'll be thanks to you. And thanks to this raid. Huh. For once, I agree with him. I think Pan Am knows exactly what she's doing. But does she know what she wants? Useful if she wants to take the clan wheel. Cool your heels, friend. No one's taken over anything just yet. We need to focus on tomorrow, brothers. Let's all get back in one piece. Then we talk clan politics. Can promise you one thing. Alda Caldos will survive. Make sure of it myself. Easy on the promises, V. Right. But you're right. This clan has a chance to rise from the ashes. I'm of the same mind. If we come back from Mikoshi, if this crazy-ass plan works, It'll be a fresh start for the Aldecaldos, I see. Mm -hmm. This feels like the part where Bobby says, if. Hey, now. I'm no defeatist. Don't call me that. All right, best be going. See you tomorrow. OK. Just wait just till I'm worried about that wall. Them. That clunker of yours won't scare anybody. Not even if you spike see? the rims. Hello? I think you swerved a little bit. Don't you all have somewhere you need to be, huh? Okay, I'm guessing the optional quest objective will go away once we hit everybody we're spo that we can talk to. Missing anything back here, maybe? It's you, isn't it? No? We got nothing to talk what about? about. The cat dragged in. Oh, here we go. Oh. Revolver. <sighs> Die old bottles. age waiting for you here. Middle of nowhere. Perfect. Hmm. I'm a believer in old ways and legacy tech. I can't tell you why, but I don't quite trust Chrome. The trick is to hear silence in your mind at the bang. 
I heard that a long time ago, round about when I was your age. I remember it to this day. I'm expecting bangs in good numbers tomorrow. So I'm trying to remind myself of that silence. Mind if I join you? Doubt I even remember what it's like not to hear my mind churning away. If you like. Twelve bottles shattered in 15 seconds. Full focus. That's your only chance of doing it. I'm doubtful you'll pull it off. Let's find out. Are you that confident? Well, I'll bet my revolver you can't do it. I'll start counting as soon as you step on that line. Begin. Stop! No, I was one away. What kind of machinery have you got in there? You should be giving me lessons. Fine shooting, kid. The trick is to hear silence in your mind at the bang. Learn something after all. Let this be a reminder to you. Whoa. Gotta keep Thanks, moving. Cass. I'm never gonna you turn down a revolver, it. ever. Break a leg tomorrow. Oh, I'll break more than that, kid. Okay. All right, somebody's... My, my neighbor upstairs is uh, vacuuming, and the sound is definitely coming through. I keep on having to mute because of it. It's going on right now, so I'm going to mute for a minute. Do you know where I saw the most stars? Mount Sinai, at the peak. Since when were you in Egypt? I used to work on a tanker, so I've been pretty much <laughs> everywhere. But those stars on Sinai, millions of them, at the tips of your fingers. You think someone's, you know, out there? I mean, the Milky Way has at least a hundred billion stars, right? Which means you'd be looking at around 200 billion planets. All right, well, I guess we're going to go and talk to Mitch, because I don't see anybody else we need to talk to. Probably miss somebody, but... Because they don't give two licks about us. I mean, look around. Would you? Hey, how go things? Good. Really good, in fact. How about you? I'm trying to get the Panzer running. She's stubborn, our dame, but I won't give either. So, time for a ride? Sure she's ready? You know me. I'd gladly spend another two days on her, but this'll have to do. Hop in. Let's see what she's made of. Fire up. I've got green across the board. Good sign. Where are we headed? Bobby said there's a scrapyard east of camp. Perfect spot for a little target practice. <laughs> now let's check Bobby's little find. Punch it, V. Does it seem like she's tending to the left? 
Uh, fixable, you think? Just keep shooting at those rust buckets. I'll recalibrate the targeting on the go. Better, doesn't it? Seems so. Last another, just to be sure. Yep, beautiful. All right, that's probably good. Let's head back. I'll have to check before tomorrow if her guts are tight and firm. Something just don't sound right to my ear. Mitch is gonna get all up in those guts. Are we heading back? I'll take her now. I get picky about parking. You nervous about tomorrow? It's not a matter of nerves. Not anymore. Don't you want one? Why the hell not? Back during the war, before we were first deployed, we were trained to keep stress in check. Do you want to know how? How? They gave us chem cocktails. Supplements, boosters, God knows what else. They shot them into our veins. Our biomons went wild, but only for a second before stabilizing, and boy, did we stabilize. After a dozen sessions, something clicks in your brain. Neural pathways get rewired. The part of you that generates fear is zapped into oblivion. Thought they banned chem cocktails during the war, even. Please. Weren't there outbreaks of cyberpsychosis within units? And? Do you think Militech gave a lick about that? They just airlifted the afflicted to their clinics in Taiwan. <laughs> Daily flights. And every day we'd get fresh recruits. Still they pumped us with that shit. But hey, we couldn't argue with the money. That's seriously fucked up. What'd you think? That war wasn't effed up? One we'll head into tomorrow, too. Why? You having second thoughts? I'm not worried about it. And neither should you be. Something else will be keeping me awake. What's that? Nah, no matter. Come on. All in the family now, yeah. isn't it? Come on. After the that, truth you is, tell I'm me. concerned about the goings on between Pan Am and Saul. They seem to think that putting on a brave face for everyone is enough, but folks here aren't slow. There's gossip spreading like wildfire already. That Saul won't pull through, that he's in it for himself. That this family needs a shake-up. What about you? What about me? What's your take? Saul ought to step down, pass the torch to Pan Am. We'll see how things look tomorrow. Once the smoke is cleared. Your turn. What do you reckon? Mitch, not gonna be facing a ragtag band of raffin or an exposed convoy. If we want to get out of this op alive, they need to have their shit They're trying. Together. They might even have started to see eye to eye in their own way. Hell, by now, they both know what's expected of them. What the clan expects of them. <laughs> Please tell me Saul offered Pan Am a seat at the table. And what gave you the idea Pan Am wants a seat to begin with? Think I get it. Pan Am's about the clan, not power. Question is whether she can reconcile the two. Hey, don't look at me. It's like this, see? Pan Am's hell-bent on helping you. But Saul sees this whole thing as an opportunity. Possible loot from Makoshi? Mm-hmm. If we pull this off, get our hands on some sweet Arasaka tech that'll set us up down south. 
Do you follow? Italy's folks' fears. By Saul some time. Saul's a smooth operator. He knows what he's doing. Let's just hope he hasn't overplayed his hand. All right, we've gossiped enough for one day. What was just spoken stays between us, okay? I'm gonna poke around some in this baby's insides. Right. Happy hunting, Mitch. All right, wasn't expecting so much uh, leadership politics here, but... Still going on. Dude, are we done? You good, bro? Okay, there it goes. <laughs> There's got to be a nomad somewhere that I miss talking to. We went over here. Okay, we went up there. Somebody in here maybe we missed? Talk to Saul. Didn't come up here. Yeah? There's something you want? Alright, well, you know what? I think I'm just gonna go to Pan Am. We went over here. We went over here. Oh my gosh, how how much vacuuming can you do in one single room? Something awful must have happened in that room, my god. Darn. So nice here. Mm-hmm. What a view, huh? Screw views. Is, uh, something the matter? I'm so tense I barely caught a wink last night. It's likely to be the same tonight. What's eating you? Well, let's see. Tomorrow, I'll lead my whole clan to near certain death. As if that's not enough, Saul is suddenly concurring with everything I say. And I don't even know if that's good or bad. Fuck. People are doubting us. I can feel it. But they still believe if it all goes to shit, Pan Am will be there for them. Because who else, right? Exactly. Who, if not you? That's what I mean! It shouldn't be me! It should be... Saul? If only he hadn't gone and made all the wrong decisions to be a little more like me. I'm scared to the bone something will go wrong. That everyone will... Sorry to have dragged you into this. Yeah, that first one's Sorry. just straight up a be lie. Stop. Accept me into People will die. How do I repay you? By taking you on an excursion through hell. It isn't fair of me, Pan Am. That wasn't fair from the start. You know what's not fair? That you want me to massage your bruised conscience. Well, I won't do it. We're all in this together. <sighs> You're right. V? Yeah? Are you not afraid to die? I mean, I don't think we'd be doing this if she wasn't afraid to die, right? I am. All the fucking time. You're great at hiding it. The whole point has given me a chance. Any for your thoughts? I'm thinking about the first night I spent up here. I've been on the road. I was on my way back and wanted to clear my head before hitting camp. Now uh, before another likely shouting match with Saul. It was completely dark. Empty. Not a star in the sky. All I heard was the wind and a few engines in the distance. And I sat here waiting for the world to fall away. 
for my mind's RPM to drop to zero. Did it? No. I realized that night it wouldn't happen again. That my mind would always be on the road. Even while I was sitting, freezing on a cliff. Time to head back, maybe? No. Let's sit here a while longer. This is doing me good. More than I thought. All right, let's go before our asses freeze over. Saul's back. Let's go. Maybe he turned up something new. All right. Let's do this thing. I think once we get into the tower, I'm wondering how much is going to be the same. I think once we get to Mikoshi itself, it'll probably be the same as uh, the rogue stuff. But who knows? Now that is a sight I will never tire of seeing. We'd best not keep them waiting. Tanks full. Fluids checked. Topped up. Gear loaded. We are prepared to go. And everything else? If this goes to shit, we need to bring Looks it like everyone's summer. ready. As ready as they can be. It's not your usual raid. A first for many. Mitch probably roused them. I did. I do. One crisis at a time is all I can do. Do you feel that? The tension. It means they've realized what they're stepping into. I just got back from doing some reconnaissance. You'll want to see this. Get any sleep at all? The older you get, the less you need. That's Besides, not true. We slept a wink for a raid <laughs> like this. And good intel is just better than a good night's sleep. Take a gander. <laughs> it's not true at all. I feel like I just need more and more and more sleep as I get older. Thanks. The plan is simple. We have two objectives. One, get into Arasaka Tower and assist V in accessing Mikoshi. And two, take advantage of the confusion to gather as much equipment as we can. Prizes like that will see to our cash flow problem. The only way into Mikoshi is to dig through to Arasaka Tower's underground levels, which means we have to hit the Maglev Tunnel construction site and hijack a Nightcorp Cirque. Last but not least, intel from our recon drone has showed us a couple of weak points. This valley leads to the site. I doubt they'll be expecting trouble there. All the same, we'll want to move quickly. Time is of the essence. We can't allow the guards to call for backup. And if we're too slow? That'll be a job for Bob and his jammer. We'll just have to get close to their comms antenna and start transmitting. Let's not kid ourselves. It won't stall them for long. Let's hope it keeps them busy just long enough. Are there drones there? Early detection systems? Anything? It's not Fort Knox, yet Night Corp is using Militech for security, so you never know. I guarantee you the patrolling the area. Lots of people In over any here. case, our drones will match theirs. Teddy will be on the lookout to raise the red flag. Not, not big security, though. Like, there's a lot of people, but, like... I'm not seeing soldiers and shit. Doesn't mean these guys won't have guns. Like, this guy probably does. Construction site's walled in. Our Panzer's gun big enough for that gate? You bet your ass it is. Sounds good so far. What else? Once you're inside, you'll need to reach the Cirque and get it to do your bidding. Enter Mitch and Carol. Get that drill up and running, and the road to the cellars of Arasaka Tower will be wide open. From there, V, Pan Am, and I will get to the laboratory and find a way into Mikoshi. And while we're drilling in, should we expect anyone to crash our party? If everything goes as planned, nobody should know where we are or what we plan to do. Feel free to look around more if you want. We still have some time left. Think yeah, I've we're good. Seen enough. 
Well, that about does it. V, you ready? How will we get back from there? The same way we'll go in. And fast, both ways. Our people will try to hold the road while we're inside. So, V, you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Is everyone up to speed? Start your engines, folks. Person right now? Oh, there it goes. Rivals and star-studded void that hangs over our heads. V, come take my six. Is everybody reading loud and clear? I got us on a group channel. Coming to you live from the Badlands. This is your home. Steady. All right, all right. Did you fire up that drone? The little bird is humming away. You are trespassing on property protected by Militech Site Secure. Turn back now. I repeat, turn your vehicles around. Oh shit. Get dicey. Damn. Okay. We've got a boost meter, but I don't even know how to use it. Your turn, Bobby. Do you remember the jammer? Sure do. We're on it. Got speed. Pan Am, did you check if all systems are operational? Check. Nitro injector clear. Launcher's also green. We're good to go. Then let the fun begin. All systems are offline. Can we fix it? What the hell now? Oh, damn. Shit. Something's busted. All the circuitry is dead. I'll try to work it out. But V, you need to somehow get rid of those drones. On the drones, you deal with the Panzer. No, no, no! Fire in the cockpit! Got that power surge! You got it. Can you put it out? Get the fuck out if not! Christ, people, where are you? I'm out here by the Panther. What's the hold up? Man, sometimes it hits and sometimes it doesn't from that range, I That's guess. That's a mistake. You'll regret it. So, they know we're coming. Drones deploy it, headed straight forward. We need more time, Bobby. Brace yourself. Do I have a choice? Look up to yourself. Oh, Bobby's got this. Oh, Bobby's got this. Systems are lighting up. We're good to go. Okay, Bobby. Panzer's moving again. Hang tight. We're coming for you. Bunch. I was starting to miss you all. I got just one son of a bitch left. And he's about to get a Bobby! Jesus Christ, Bobby! Shit, Bobby, dude. do you read? We have to go. I'm sorry, Mitch. We can't afford to stop. Not now. Shit. The Panzer V. It won't hold up much longer. Systems could go down any second. I'd do anything to make it in one Oh, that's loot. <laughs> anything. <laughs> it's just floating After in the air. I can improvise. We can do this, Pan Am. Hang in there. Damn, all right. So Bobby's That's dead now. Off the road, make it across the bridge. No more mistakes. Not a one. We're damaged. So much shit has been already. We can do this. Keep your formation! Oh, ram our way through. Go 
me. All right, let's do this. Corin! Fee, she's dying like I said she would. Propulsion, weapon systems, launchers, all falling like dominoes. There anything you can do about it? I'll try. Either I do this, or this rattle trap will really be scrapped. You get out. Help our folks. You got it. We'll provide Let's do cover. this thing. Just hurry, all right. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Knife Namase, Kyle the Monarch, Chris Murphy, JW, Quinless, Vlada101, Andy Ford, Bruce Wizzle, Black Mamba90, Eureka Gecko, A Happy Fat Panda, Turkeyfoot27, Pedo Kuto, Shadow Raven, and Nadia N. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.